Hi kids, in today's session you are going to learn about yearly revolts against British rule in Tamil Nadu. What are the yearly revolts that happen during the British rule in Tamil Nadu? In this one, we are going to learn about Palayams and Palayakars. Palayam, Palayam means small kingdom. Actually, that small kingdom, it came under the ruler of Noyx. Okay, it came under the ruler of Noyx. And this Palayam, it contained only the military camp. That means the military people alone, they lived in the Palayam. The Palayakar system, it was actually referred by the British as Polygar. This was we copied from the Kakatiya kingdom. Okay, not ourselves actually. This one by Vishnuadha Nayak alone, it was introduced in Tamil Nadu. Okay, in Kakatiya kingdom, the Pradap Rudra, he only followed. Pradap Rudra, he was the king of the Varangal. Okay, in the Kakatiya kingdom, that person alone followed this Palayakar system. Same that Palayakar system, Vishwanatha Nayak, when he appointed by the Krishnadeva Raya, he also followed that Palayakar system in Madurai. Okay, actually 72 Palayakars were there who were appointed by Vishwanatha Nayak. Vishwanatha Nayak, he was guided by Aryanatha, his minister. Okay, what the Palayakars they did? They were free to collect revenue administer the territory the territory they given isn't it one of the place they given to them actually we may say this palaikar as the military officer how we are saying as an army person isn't it like that also we may say because they looked after only the pa- military camp okay they looked after only the military camp so they are saying that person as a palaikar one who is taking care of the military camp you know what this palaikar did i told they will collect the revenue Revenue means tax, okay, and administer the territory, that place alone, that means which place they given to them, only the military camp they, they hand over, the Vishnuadha Nayak hand over to him, so that alone what they did, they administrated there, as well as they settled the disputes, what settled the disputes means whenever the disputes arose between the Nayak with the uh, Vishnuadha Nayak, not, the, not only the Vishnuadha Nayak, after that also so many Nayak came there. Uh, when the Nayaks as well as to the other kingdom, whenever the war it arose, that time they used to help to them. Okay, as well as what they did, they will maintain the law and the order in their places. Their police duties were known as Padai Kaval or Aras Kaval. Okay, their police duties. That means the uh, maintaining law and order is a police duty. It is uh, called as the Padai Kaval or Aras Kaval. On many occasions, the Palaikar, they helped the Nayak rulers to safeguard the kingdom. Many occasions means during the war time. During the war time, the Palaikars, they helped their Nayak people to restore the kingdom, to safeguard their kingdom. Actually, up to 200 years, the between the Nayak and the Palaikar, that relationship, it was very smooth alone it was very smooth there were it was nothing arose in between them any disputes it not not arose arose in between them how it will arose however the nayak only appointed the palayakas so how would the disputes it will arose there it won't arose isn't it actually the palayam it was uh, segregated as a eastern as well as the Western Palayams. Wow, how many Palayakars I told? 72 Palayakars I told. Isn't it? By the Nayak rulers only it was created. There were two blocks I told. Eastern and the Western Palayams. The Eastern Palayams consist of Satur, Nagalapuram, Yattayapuram and Panjalankuruchi. And the same the Western Palayams were the Udumalai, Talavankotai, Naduvankuruchi, Singampatti, Seithur. Okay, they are, after that we will learn about the Palaikar's revolt.